your ear? I, it has its Hello and yet. welcome to oh. AMA Expo oh. Express. <laughs> Sponsored by Motion RC. I am here at Warbird Pilots. Why don't you introduce yourself? How are you doing? My name is Adam Martin. I am the owner and operator of Warbird Pilots. We carry a full line of RC scale uh, pilot figures to fit pretty much almost anything, any airplane you have out there. Yeah. If you'd like, we're more than happy to show you what we've got here. So the line starts with a 10 inch tall figure, which covers all your World War II up through your modern jet pilots. Those will fit your 1 7 and 1 8 scale airplanes. We then step up to your 12 inch tall figures, which are your 1 5 and 1 6 scale airplanes. Those range from World War II, all your different eras, your different countries. As you make your way down, we get into your Korean era, as well as your modern jet pilots. And then final with, we've got civilian, and as well we've got World War I uh, pilot figures as well. From there, we step up to the next size, which we come down here, we've got our one in 4.5 up to quarter scale. Modern jet, same your World War II pilots, as well as your World War I, and your civilian. And then finally, what we've done is I got a lot of requests for an even larger figure. Quarter scale wasn't big enough anymore. So I was constantly getting requests for third scale. So what we've got in third scale now is we've got World War I, your British, your French, German. We also extend those to a civilian uh, uh, pilot as well. So I understand there's something a little different about their bodies with these ones? Yes, yeah, so what we've done, many manufacturers out there will start with a plastic body. Now what you get with a plastic body is you don't have the ability to really adjust the figure much. It'll bend in one location and that's what you've got. So what'll happen is the body will be sitting too high in the cockpit, it'll be too wide, you can't do a lot of adjustment. So what I've done is I've started the figures with the cotton fill wireframe body. This gives you adjustments in any way you want. So if you bend the figure here and it's sitting a little high, you can go ahead and readjust it, bend it higher, gets them to sit lower. <laughs> same as arms, you can fit them in any position you possibly want. At the same time, with the sizes that we did and with the cotton bodies, it allows you to fit multiple scales. So, for example, this pilot here is a 12 inch tall US Navy pilot. But what we've done is because it's bendable and adjustable, we now are able to fit multiple scales with the figure. So it fits between a 1 6th and a 1 5th scale airplane, which gives you, will fit a large number of aircraft between 72 inches all the way up to 85, almost 90 inches. But it gives you that ability that if he's sitting too high on an airplane, you can bend a little higher up the waist. We can also, because everything is removable in these figures, you can remove the parachute pack, allows him to sit a little lower if he need to. At the same time, oxygen mask, goggles, everything is removable and can be adjusted on the uh, uh, pilot figure to make it exactly what you want mm -hmm. and make it a little more custom for what you're looking for. So it's just flexible all around. <laughs> all the way around, and, and that's kind of what we need for our aircraft. Unfortunately, manufacturers will make the outline of the aircraft one scale, but our cockpits are usually a little too small. Mm -hmm. They're always tight, they'll always be too shallow. With that, you have that ability with these uh, pilot figures to fit those little inconsistencies on the aircraft. Mm -hmm. At the same time, what we've done to kind of step it up, because I know a lot of the scale guys, they like the fact the figure is incredibly scale, but they want that one other thing that'll draw people's attention into the figure. So what we've done, if you come down here to the, to the, the transmitter down here, what we've done is we've taken the fully scale figure and we've given that guy that wants that next step up a moving head option. So we go ahead and we install a servo right in the body and it gives the uh, pilot the ability to move his head back and forth. And that gives the that gives the, uh, uh, the customer the ability to add that extra feature, give them something else. A lot of time and effort gets put into a cockpit. A lot of little pieces, a lot of little time. Nothing ever draws your attention to that cockpit. You put a moving head figure in there and that draws people's attention right to that cockpit. Then they can see all that extra work, yeah. a lot of extra work you put in to make this airplane as scale as possible. Yeah, so where can people find out more information? Right on our website, it's warbirdpilots.com. Um, go right there, we've got over 50 figures that you can look through everything. They're all based on scale and size. 
you can find your airplane based on scale. What I'm going to be doing in the future here is taking every aircraft that's out there and manufacture. And we're going to be taking and assigning a pilot for each airplane. So if you don't know what pilot fits your plane, you'll be able to go to that. That'll be something we'll do in the next month or so nice. to allow customers to really make the, the process of buying a pilot for their exact airplane much, much easier. Awesome. Is there anything else we need to know about Warbird Pilots? Other than the fact that uh, uh, it's pretty much a one-stop shop. If you're looking for a pilot figure and you have an airplane, we will have a pilot for you. Awesome. Awesome. Well, yeah, those are, looks like pretty awesome pilots right there. I said awesome like 20 times. <laughs> but <laughs> thanks for tuning in. We're going to be live one more time today at 4 p.m. with our recap video. So make sure you tune in then.